Hello and welcome to 30 Days to Learn Photoshop. I'm Ben Gribbin and today we'll be looking over our course and we're going to find out exactly what we'll be learning in it. So over the next 30 days we're going to take you from Photoshop newbie, i.e. an absolute beginner, to being able to carry out basic photo editing, graphic design and in just in general knowing your way around Photoshop tools like the back of your hand. Now Photoshop is one very flexible tool and it's ideal for photographers, for those who wish to carry out perhaps colour correction and tweak the pictures, right up to movie makers who use it along with effects editors to create the visuals that we see in many feature films today. It can be used to create print files, it's been adopted by the web design community as their go-to app for creating beautiful web graphics. In short, Photoshop can do it all, and learning Photoshop is going to open up so many avenues for you to explore. But in this course, we're going to focus on taking you from zero Photoshop knowledge to being able to navigate around and utilize it like a pro. You'll learn all about the interface, the basic tool set, and techniques on how to put them to use. But why is Photoshop so popular, and in many cases, the industry standard in so many fields? Well, Photoshop is a real workhorse. It can work with color modes, it has color profile support, the ability to create and export GIFs, JPEGs, EPS files, as well as create PSD files, which are the uh, kind of native file for Photoshop, and those are cross compatible with other Photoshop users, different editions of Photoshop. Adobe have really taken the time to integrate Photoshop within its creative suite, so that means you can work between programs such as Illustrator, Premiere Pro, After Effects, and InDesign to add lustre to your designs and projects in those apps too. Coupled with Photoshop's ability for add-ons such as brushes, patterns, styles and actions, it offers a foundation from which to create just about anything you want visually. Photoshop also has an excellent community behind it, so there's lots of tutorials on the internet, there's lots of support if you ever get stuck, particularly from websites such as PSD Tuts. And the great thing about that is because so many people use it, if you're ever looking for help on a specific technique, or effect, there's usually a tutorial out there. Photoshop does, however, have a few limitations. You can think of Photoshop in some respect as a kind of jack of all trades program. It started as a photo editor and over the years has been added to. It's been adopted and adapted to different uses and it's very good at them, though some might argue that specific niche programs are more effective. So if you think about this, one such argument would be the use of Photoshop versus InDesign, for example. InDesign is a program specifically designed for creating print documents. Photoshop can do pretty much everything that InDesign does, but some might argue that InDesign is more suited to such a use, even if it's just for the interface. With that said, however, many designers use Photoshop regardless as their go-to program, and it handles pretty much everything very well it's well worth learning Photoshop. There are one or two requirements for the course before we start. You're going to need a copy of Photoshop. Now, it doesn't matter really what edition you're using, anything from CS2 upwards should be fine, though the nuts and bolts of Photoshop haven't really changed since much earlier versions. So again, don't worry if you have Photoshop 7, you should be able to follow along just fine. That goes as well if you're using Windows or Mac. The shortcuts and commands will show you for both operating systems. You'll also need a computer that meets at least the minimum requirements for Photoshop support and, and pretty much every uh, basic computer nowadays should be able to run Photoshop at some level. So in today's lesson we've discussed what will be covered in 30 days to learn Photoshop and also why Photoshop is used and just to recap that's for flexibility, its community support and powerful editing features. Now your task for this lesson is to ensure that you have all the necessary course materials and that's a Photoshop copy and a computer. Next time on 30 Days to Learn Photoshop, we're going to cover creating documents. Thanks for listening.